Welcome back to Indian Trace. As a preview, uh, I can tell you, and thanks for all the replies and uh, comments, the entry comments on the exceptional giveaway. If you haven't got into that exceptional giveaway yet, uh, do it. Go back in time here, a couple videos, two, three videos, something like that, and listen to it and enter or send friends to enter. It's exceptional. Not exceptional because of me. I'm nothing special. I mean, it's, it's just the artifacts that, I don't know, just were on my heart. I had to clear them. I mean, I kept plenty of good stuff if you're new here. I mean, I had to do it. Sometimes things in your life you just got to do. It's an exceptional giveaway. Three winners are going to happen. Three. Um, where am I? Well, this is a place that I call Outer Edge. Gorgeous place, quiet place. I got a red Guilford Yuma. Uh, pretty much all of it are, is, is right on the edge. But yeah, I know you're going, what the world kind of conditions are these? Well, this is cotton, and it's split seeded into uh, coastal Piedmont sand. So uh, it's a good area, you know. Um, two weeks ago, I was passing by and I see this big puff, this big cloud of smoke all over this property maybe three weeks ago and I said man they must be seeding that because all of this straw they uh, must have sprayed with something it's all dead so it's all biodegraded anyway uh, you guys go back to that giveaway video I might find something live I'm trying to get back to my marker keep my eyes peeled and uh, all, only thing you had to do is just share your comment about whether or not you think that digging for artifacts is good or bad now of course a lot of people made comments already and they wanted to make reference real quick about uh, burials or people's graves of course that's excluded that's that's a given this is never okay period um, probably not even okay for archaeologists I haven't explored it too well but it's just rude I bury my son I bury my father I bury don't go into their graves don't go into their graves I've, I, I, I don't I'm not actually telling anybody that it's just it's beyond me that somebody would have an open mind to, to approach that, to do that. Uh, there are certain things in life that are sacred. Our passing from life unto life, the circle of life that we live is a sacred circle. I'm looking around and uh, shouldn't be messed around with. Uh, there's a lot of other things that are sacred. I won't go into that, but there are sacred things in our life. And that's one of them now in terms of just digging the land in different campsites like we're in here well this thing has been dug a hundred two hundred times through farm cycle and huge massive machinery what I'm doing today is I'm looking to save what's that see this this is a kind of flint it's crazy different types of flint out here but uh, it spans the ages now up ahead here let's take a look at this now, I personally, it doesn't matter how I feel about digging, enter the giveaway, make the comment on the giveaway um, channel, excuse me, on the giveaway video, and uh, we'll all be set to go. Look at this. Not these feathers. Found these feathers, too. It's great stuff. Why let a combine, another engine, come shred the feathers? How, how stupid some environmental health and service people can be. Some great artifacts on there. Now, if you're one of those, I'm sorry. I don't mean to offend you, but listen, these feathers are beautiful. What on earth would you want uh, a combine to shred them into the dirt again for instead of enjoying them and showing them to children and getting their fascination with the outdoors? Found some great artifacts. This is what I saw, though. Look at this. Look at this. Back to the giveaway video, exceptional giveaway. Make your comment on that video so that I can keep track. I've already started to uh, populate names for the random part of the giveaway where if... I think that your comment was heartfelt and you really uh, were interested in exploring the different thoughts and opinions about digging for artifacts because this thing, this artifact, was dug for. It's on the surface. But listen, these machines, these massive... Look at that Guilford Yuma. Are you kidding me? That's a, that's a great color. For beginners, I know it's a little long. Guilford Yuma, it's because it's concave on the very base here. See where my finger is? It's concave there. There's Guilford Straits, and then there's Guilford Rounds. The Guilford Yumas are the oldest. Look at these pieces. 
make your comment and tell me if you think it's okay to dig. And I mean talk and dig. If private property, dig a hole, what have you. People dig for so many reasons and it's fine. Uh, it's not about context anymore. Not with a modern society, industrial society, not with development. Uh, it's not really about context because they can come here and build a house site and then no one will ever get to retrieve these things anymore. It's happened time and time again, hasn't it? You guys out there on this video, you just tell me, yeah, man, I lost a, a really great Indian site to a house development or, see, I lost one to a school built on the farm field next to my house. I mean, I lost a nice site before I really was had a heads up as to be able to check it well. Look at this quartzy. It's a crazy triangle, isn't it? What you guys know about that? It's worked very smooth off the base. This quartz piece, it's a blade, look at it angled up. Nice quartz. And then uh, just some good balance pieces, field finds. Oh my word. Just a little off the tip look. That would have been a, it, it is a prize. I mean, don't get me wrong, that's a unique colored stone right there. Super unique. Ain't nothing wrong with that at all, but we get picky. I get picky with my seven millimeter Remington mag mind. Every one of those rounds is perfect. This is just a fine though, because you're looking at 6,000 years old. Well, Maybe it's brother or sister will be out here too. I mean, I, I really, I'm not unhappy about that at all. Uh, so what? It happens. It's just the way it rock and rolls. Great color on that Guilford Yuma though. Appreciate everybody tuning in to Indian Trace. Hope you find out there. Enter the giveaway. Tell me what you think.